Gus. So Eagles onto the finals. You make short work of the Wadsworth Grizzlies. Now you got the Pioneers. This was a barn burner of a duel over here. Oh, they fought hard. It was, a, it was exciting. I had to catch myself a couple times and not watch while I was supposed to be coaching my own guys. Okay, you look at the Eagles this year. Ups and downs, you know, Ironman, tough Ironman for you guys. You know, quad, super quad. You had Wyoming Seminary and Blair in the same day. But you know, hey, you're still in line, you know, to I mean, win another duel title. That's why we do that stuff, though. I mean, even though there was times where we could have thrown the hat in and said, hey, we got too many guys out, we're not showing up, or complained about it. We kept throwing our guys in there for this exact reason. Now when we come to stuff like this, I mean, obviously, Wise was tough, Larry is tough, but it's it's not wrestling Blair and Wyoming Seminary back-to-back. -back. Those those days are hard. This is, this is fun. This is what we're training for. You know, you guys, when you look at it, you know, it's been some ups and downs for the Eagles. How do you think you've put yourself in this position? Is it is it that competition? It's what have you changed? It, really, we haven't really changed much. It's just the tradition of saying with wrestling. I, mean, I was there. It's the same things we're doing when I was there from 6 to 10. We're doing from back from 2015 to 2020. It's just the exact same structure. Everyone that's on the staff is either wrestled for Coach F or wrestled with Coach F. And we're all on the same page. We're all working together. And, that tradition's gotten us pretty far throughout the, the years. G gigantic rematch of the Ironman 152. It's going to come down to Hepner and Mungia. Uh, Hepner won it, but Mungia placed it the Ironman. You know, Hepner didn't. So that's what I just, we just had, we had Mungia Voinovich over here. Did you catch any of that? That was one of the matches I had to keep catching myself, not watching. But I mean, did you, I mean they're, they're crazy. They roll around. These guys are so dynamic. Mm -hmm. What do you guys got to do to, to win the, the swing matches like that I one? Just make it a fight. We have our kids are conditioned. Our kids are tough. We make it a fight, and we usually end up on top in, in fist fights. If we don't fist fight, then things can get a little, little goofy. Like you said, they can roll around, and goofy stuff happens. They catch things, but we we fight and make it hard. Our guys usually come out on top in six minutes. Any other ones that you're looking forward to, like that one? That's that that's obviously a big one for uh, you know you guys. What other ones 13, you looking for? Thirteen and twenty. Thir I mean, yeah, Those huge swing fun. matches. Those are gonna be fun matches. Yeah, you, if we, you guys we had some revenge at thirteen and twenty, we wrestled really well against them last year, and I'm expecting the same kind of uh, thing to happen. Between here and now, what do you guys do? We're just gonna hang out. So only like we two some, hours, right? Yeah. I think we got Jimmy John's coming. I got my Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna go hang out in the bleachers and maybe take a nap. All right, you got anything else for me? Fun what you built. Fun what you built. Good luck to the Eagles tonight. Thanks, Ed.